in recent years, many people have uh, tried and embraced healthy living, which includes also weight management as a way to avoid or control certain complications. However, often than not, we always don't get the results we are laboring to achieve. And today, I am bringing you my own full story of weight loss journey. Hey, it is me, Christine Kamsime Tudyambona. For ease, you can call me CKT. I know some of us our names are full stories, but if you are new on my channel, I am happy to have you. And this is the channel we get to discuss godly matters and demystify big concepts into small workable tips. Feel led to like, share, and subscribe if you find my vlogs helpful. Today, I am stepping a little bit out of the poem to share my personal life, which is not so far from the same thing anyway, as we have already discussed godly matters. Does not the Bible say we are a written epistle and read and known by all men? All right, okay. I'm talking about my weight loss journey and my, my whole adult life until 2017 had lived in ranges of being obese or overweight. The highest I hit was 113 kilograms. Yeah, so imagine 100 kilograms sack full plus other small one of 13 kgs topped up. Now, if you have ever been in any way big, just to avoid the word fat, you agree that you can never know how bad it is. Okay, for me, I had never known how uh, big I was. I only knew I was okay, big, but I didn't know it was that bad, if you know what I'm talking about. We also know that there is a defensive wall you build around yourself to cover up who you are, like me, I would say not everyone is meant to be a model size. In my family, we are half genes of fatness. We are giants, uh, building strong attitude of oneself, which is not bad anyway. But in psychology, it can amount to some complex of some sorts. That is what I mean. I would invest more in outfits with me saying, as long as I'm smart, my shoe is on point, my handbag is uh, a nice one, then I'm good to go. And it would work, by the way. Because compliments like, CK, you are smart. CK, you know how to dress your body. And then such compliments would come to mean that, yeah, the body is, you are just dressing the body, but it is not doing well. So, of course, the obvious comments we would, I would always get are like, but you girl, you are becoming fat. You doing anything about your weight loss? Another one, how is your appetite? And this one also leads me to another issue, which is, faced by people who are fat. That is denial. If you would ask me saying, how is your appetite? I would quickly say, by the way, I don't eat. I don't overeat. I don't eat that much. But truth be told, there is no overweight person that doesn't eat or have high appetite. Otherwise, people who are admitted on a hospital bed would remain big even in their sickness but how come that they shed off some pounds it is simply because they have lost appetite and therefore encroached on their reserved fat for their survival without pretty much replacing it another denial point was i would avoid looking at myself in a mirror for such a long time i don't remember when I had last seen myself in a mirror because I would feel bad. But now because I shed off some pounds, I'm able to do that, glory to God. I would feel bad about what I was seeing. So you guys who hurt us with uh, your opinions, 
it is not that we be not knowing that we are fat. We know, as far as I remember, I had been doing several things to lose weight, but things were simply failing. Whenever a person would post 10 days of juicing, I would do. Another would, another would post, it's only popo, I am in. Not mentioning praying and fasting. On this one, I would even add more weight. Because I would feel hungry, then when I eat, I would overeat beyond what I, I, I am supposed to have. So all these other things would bring few results, about three kilograms uh, or so. And for someone who is looking for 30 kgs to be shed off, it was usually frustrating. And therefore, I would drop on the first try. That sounds common, right? But my answer came by God, I must say, and I am going to break it down for you how it happened. It was 2017, and at that time I had got a church, and I was already born again, and the church I am still praying with to this day, and had learned a few things like a better way to pray, to yield results. I had known how to build my own faith. So time I was speaking with my friend who also had some weight on and she suggested that we should begin to exercise. My, my dear friend Fiona, I thank you so much. You were such a great inspiration. I remember she came to my desk and she was telling me that we begin and asking me if I'm ready and I asked also how, how long does she expect to have results. She said she didn't know so I just her saying you go start if you get results within two months come back for me and at exactly one month she came back to my desk and what I saw with my own eyes couldn't believe so I asked Fiona tell me only the truth right now are you only doing exercise or you are using some slimming tablets of course I had my own fears concerning slimming tablets so she said no it is only exercise I pulled my the box under my desk where I had dumped my gym shoes and a pair of tracksuit I told her I am coming with you this evening it was a few minutes to five and the phone rang I, I picked and we left for a nearby cricket oval. I didn't know how serious she had taken exercise. Oh my God. And when I saw what she was able to do and what I was able to do on that evening, I noticed there was a problem. I tell you, she ran 12 laps without stopping and I ran two laps with very many stops. I don't remember how many times she bypassed me and she would say, keep on, don't stop. The following week, she told me we can get or invite other few friends and we became a team of about eight women. Uh, and as I am making this vlog, only two out of the eight are still standing, the rest took a long break. Here is good news. Me who started running two laps, now I'm able to run 21 kilometers every Saturday and I do insanity workouts of Sean T. Thanks to him too. Look for his videos here on YouTube. It is tough but doable. There is where he says that this one is going to kick your butt but it brings results. Uh, so, what kept me going in all this is my faith, being patient, and acceptance. To faith, I have already said I had learned a few basics at church, so I kept telling myself words of faith, like I can make it. 
I do not fail. I will finish well. If an unbelievers are breaking world records, I should do better. So watch this space. <laughs> One of these days I might break a record. <laughs> Praise the Lord. As I do exercise, as I jog, I keep pop up. As I exercise, I keep saying things like, I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. I am not of them that draw back. The one in me is greater than he, than the one that is in the world. So as I exercise, as I set my pace, I am boosting my morale by the word of God. And about patience, I remember I visited a very good friend of mine called Ajiri. And as you, when you are overweight and you meet someone, you meet someone you have not met for a while, among the things you chat, especially if they are also in the same state, is how to lose weight. So Ajira, I thank you. You were such a great motivation. And just know you will have to pick from where you left. And I know and understand what you are up to these days, but I'm praying for you. So as we chatted, I, she had already started gymming with the other friend Fiona because she was among the eight in the team. So I asked her, are you ready to do this for the rest of your life? Because I am not to do things that I know that I'm not able to sustain or to finish well. Later is when she told me that she remembers that statement and it almost made her drop. She wasn't sure that she was going to exercise for a lifetime. But she's into cooking. She's a good cook. She actually, she owns a, a, a company doing outside catering. If you are around Uganda, you could um, check her out. She's, her name is called Ashra Catering Service. And also, I think she has some recipes on YouTube. You can check it out. And that bit of acceptance, I allowed that I was fat, but I also allowed that I needed to do something. So, to be precise, it was 18 September 2017. I started with my friend Fiona. We would run and we would also go in for insanity aerobics. And it was at, on December 18th, that is about three months, I had lost 19 kilograms, glory to God. And it was coming to that festive season. So I took a break and guess what? I added five kilograms again. Yeah, it is that serious. So someone who was 94 at the time just a few shot up again to 100 kgs in such a short time that christmas break so i knew what to do i hit the gym again and up to do this for life because i had known that if you stop then you will add again guess what by february lost 33 kgs because i weighed and found i was 80 kilograms you know if you have been there sometimes you tend to doubt the weighing scale if it gives you exciting results and i didn't want to confirm with another scale so what i did i reduced the rate because my friends my family my people had already started bringing in those comments that are ah, now this is too much you can stop here in other words insinuating that maybe you are looking emaciated so i cut the pressure <laughs> i reduced the speed like i toned down now the rate at which i was exercising me and still does is a quote i i read on google 
that we are what we eat and to gain weight you eat calories more than you burn per day and boom you are some weight on if you want to maintain your weight you eat as much as you burn per day if you want to lose weight you eat less than less calories than you burn per day for me to add weight is a joke it is a matter of eating what all i need and then uh, relaxing in exercising but to lose it it takes great faith but thank god i have both <laughs> it is hard if you have appetite and with no faith because it is faith that drives everything it is the same faith that has given me self-control to determine what, uh, what when and what to eat so what i did differently than what i was doing previously this time round for things to work was to have faith to believe that it is only god who works in us to will and to do according to his good pleasure hashtag bible verse yes that is a bible verse i have just quoted it is good i am not going to lie to you that in me there is an ounce of ability to run the kilometers that i run but with god all things are possible i do things even out of exercise like my life there are things i do and really see it can only be god from the beginning to the end and if i was able to do this if i am able to do this and i am still doing it and i am so alive i haven't died anybody can do this i say anybody because i was in the in the worst among those who think it is too late to do anything so you just say let me just allow who i am i'm talking about those ones okay if you are there and you need more help with weight drop me a comment in the comment section below we shall pray together build faith together and see those curves come out you can also like share and subscribe to my channel and also click those videos showing on your screen right now to watch my vlogs about what is faith how to build faith and how to blossom as a christian i will see you right there i love you and thanks for the love